Hi guys, the Citizen here. I'm giving you an update on my blog that I'm doing about extinction. And if you guys want to go check it out, it's sequentialcitizen.blogspot.com. And I need to define extinction for you guys first. Now, extinction is really much is pretty much the removal of a reinforcer after behavior in hopes that that behavior will completely stop. And a common misconception about extinction is that it has only to do with attention. You can also you can hear about this a lot, especially in parenting. People will be like, oh, just ignore him, he'll eventually stop. But that's not going to happen for that child, whatever he's doing, unless attention is actually what he's working for. Um, for example, with my bird, <laughs> comparing birds to children here. Um, my bird will scream for many different things. She'll scream because she's hungry, because she's thirsty, when I come home, maybe she wants to do something, maybe she's bored. And in order to, if I want her to stop that screaming, I have to identify what's reinforcing her, or in other words, why she's screaming in the first place. For example, if she's hungry, I need to go up there and feed her right away. I don't care if that's reinforcing that behavior because she shouldn't be hungry. If you ignore a bird because they're hungry and they're trying to get your attention to fill up their food bowl, I consider that very unethical. And the reason why, let's get another child example. If you have a child in a crib that's crying and he's really hungry or his diaper needs to be changed and you just say, oh, just ignore it, he'll eventually stop. True, he'll stop because he'll learn it's not working. And if you don't change that child's diaper because he's hungry or because his diaper needs to be changed, that can be considered neglect. So if you do not feed your bird because he's hungry and he's screaming, I consider that neglect and it's very unethical. So we just need to prevent the bird from screaming for food in the first place and always have his food bowl filled. Um, that's a really good example. So, um, some examples to speed up screaming after we identify the reinforcement of why the behavior is happening. If you want to speed up the extinction process, you can use differential reinforcement and you can also use continuous reinforcement if they are previously on a intermittent reinforcement schedule. And what I mean by these three terms, continuous reinforcement, intermittent reinforcement, and differential reinforcement, let's start with differential reinforcement first. Um, for example, my bird, she does like to scream when I come home. She's like, oh my god, you're home. Hi, what's up? And I don't like the really high-pitched sound that she gives when I start walking in the door. But along with all that high-pitched screaming, she also has um, smaller... She also has smaller screaming that she offers. So instead of rewarding the great big screaming that I don't like, I'm going to differentially reinforce the other screaming that's quieter that I do like. So now she actually has learned that, hey, she's not going to get what she wants by using the high-pitched screaming because what she is working for is attention. So I'm going to give her that attention for a different behavior that's less offensive than the one that I don't want, if that makes any sense. So she doesn't scream high pitched anymore, she screams like really low, like, hey, what's up? And I say, oh, hey, what's up? And then she's just kind of like, okay, I got my attention, I'm done, I'm good for the day. Um, so what intermittent reinforcement is, is rewarding, not rewarding the behavior every single time. Um, it's like slot machines, you get rewarded with money and tokens every once in a while. Um, here's also another example for me with school. Say I need help with a class and I need to go and get help from somebody. So I call up one of my friends. I say, hey, can you help me? They're like, sure, I'll help you. And then I'll keep calling them up. I'm like, hey, can you help me? Hey, can you help me? They'll help me a lot at first, but then they'll just be like, oh, not so much anymore. They'll help me once in a while, but I'll still keep calling them. Hey, help me now, help me now, help me now, help me now. Hoping that I will get the help that I need. Now, not getting rewarded with the help that I need for my class is intermittent reinforcement when they only give it to me some of the time. <laughs> so if I'm on an intermittent reinforcement schedule and my friend says, you know what, I'm really tired of her calling me up every other day, every five minutes to get help for this class. So what she's going to do is going to change that intermittent reinforcement schedule to a continuous reinforcement schedule. And a continuous reinforcement schedule is helping me out every single time I ask for it. I'll be like, oh my god, I'm getting all the stuff that I need. She's going to be helping me, helping me, helping me every single time I call her. And 
if she wants me to stop that behavior, what she's going to do is all of a sudden then remove all that attention she's been giving me and not return my calls or say, sorry, I can't do it. And I'll just be like, oh, well, that's kind of weird. Um, she used to be helping me all this time and now she's just completely dropped off. Maybe she has something really serious going on. Maybe I shouldn't bug her anymore. And that kind of the process of going from intermittent reinforcement to continuous reinforcement really helps in speeding up the extinction process along with differential reinforcement with the example of my bird rewarding one behavior instead of another behavior so that she gets what she wants anyway. Um, also you guys have to be really careful of extinction bursts and spontaneous recovery. Um, an extinction burst is let's say you have a child at the candy store or <laughs> at the grocery store and of course there's candy at the grocery store and the kid's like mom I want candy mom I want this mom I want that he's constantly nagging her she's saying no 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 she's using her um, extinction program really well because she's not giving in to the child's nagging but finally when they're at the checkout counter everyone's everyone's experienced this at the grocery store right when they're finally at the checkout counter the kid starts screaming he starts kicking he starts crying mom I want this candy and the mom's like oh my god I've had too much of this she's just gonna give in so she reaches for that candy bar buys it for that kid now what the kid just did there of, of first nagging all over the store and then finally kicking and screaming by the end that kicking and screaming was the extinction burst and if you reward an extinction burst there the kids going to be screaming and kicking that much the next time because the kids like well nagging doesn't do anything so I'll just start screaming and kicking and she'll just give it to me and <laughs> we don't want to reward a behavior like that because it's just going to get worse. Now the good thing about an extinction burst, if you can believe it or not, is that once you see that behavior getting more severe and them it getting more intense, then you know that that behavior is just about to stop and drop off. That's what an extinction burst means. It means they're going to try, this is their last stretch, they're going to try really hard and then they're going to give up. So if you just if you recognize that that's an extinction burst, you can say, okay, we're almost through this. I'm just going to ignore this one more time, and it's going to stop. Now, um, there's also something called spontaneous recovery, which is after a successful extinction program has been implemented, and the behavior just completely drops off and says, okay, bird's not screaming anymore, a child isn't screaming anymore, I'm not asking my friend for help on my homework anymore. But every once in a while... I'll ask them again and say, hey, can you help? And if they says no, I'll be like, oh, okay. And then my behavior drops right back again. It's not going to be really extreme, usually, but it'll, it'll be like a little behavior hump. It'll be like, oh, let's see if it works. No, it doesn't work. And that is spontaneous recovery. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant on um, <laughs> extinction. <laughs> and if you guys have any comments, leave them below. Please, if you have any questions, if you have any questions about you know, extinction concepts or how to get something to stop via extinction, you know, go ahead and ask them. I would love to chat about it. Bye, guys.